guys, today I'm going to be doing a very highly requested video from you guys and that is what is on my iPhone 6. I did one of these when I first got my iPhone 6, I will link it down below, it was probably over a year ago and it got a really great response from you guys and a lot of you guys wanted me to update you on a lot of the new apps and stuff that I have on my phone and what I have been using on my phone. So. If you guys are interested in seeing what is on my iPhone 6, then please just keep watching. And if you guys want more videos like this, then please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss them. Thank you guys so, so much. And here we go. All right, guys. So this is my phone. I have the gold iPhone 6. This is just the regular 6, not the 6 Plus. So it is the smaller one, and I love it. When you open up my phone, you just kind of see me and my friends from graduation. That's like my screensaver thing. And then this is what the home screen of my phone looks like. And I do have three different pages of apps. Like the front page is the apps that I use most often, a lot of just like the basic apps that come on the phone. So up here, the first row, we have messages, contacts, videos, and calendar. I'm sure you guys are familiar with them. If you have an iPhone, they come on like all iPhones. Then we have the camera. Then I have a little utilities folder. I think it came like this. I didn't make this folder. Um, but this has the clock, calculator, compass, and voice memos. I use the clock every single day to wake me up. I use the calculator quite a bit. I don't think I've ever used the compass or voice memos. Then we have settings and maps. Maps I use all the time. I use this as like a GPS. Then we have the app store and the iTunes store and the health app, which I've actually never really used. I don't really even know what that app is for, but it came on the iPhone 6. I should really look into it because I probably would like it, but yeah. Then we have FaceTime. Yeah, so we have that. Then we have notes. I always write myself like to-dos and stuff on there. Then we have the weather app. Guys, I'm obsessed with the weather. I have to check it like every five seconds, which is kind of crazy. Um, I'm always, always, always checking this. Yeah, that's the weather channel app. That's the app that I use to check the weather. Then we have a Snapchat, which I love. I didn't use Snapchat for the longest time, but now I use it all the time. So you guys can add me. My name is Kelly Strax. You guys can go ahead and add me on Snapchat. Then we have Twitter. So this is my Twitter. My Twitter is at Kelly underscore Jane XX. So it's the same as my Instagram account is. So go ahead and follow me on Twitter as well. I love chatting with you guys on Twitter. And then the next app that we have is Snups. And guys, this is my new obsession app. Like I literally love this app. My name is Kelly Strack on here. So you guys can go ahead and follow me and we can be like, friends but basically what snups is is you can go through and like it's like a virtual closet so you can put all this stuff I actually haven't uploaded that much myself I need to go through and like do more but I uploaded like some of my favorite outfits and like stuff that I have in my closet onto my profile but what I've been doing is just going through the explore and like seeing all like what these people have like it's literally amazing like you can put up all these pictures of like the nail polishes that you have and like so it's great for like makeup collections it's great for like your own closet to like clothes and everything like that. I have just been literally creeping on everybody's closets and seeing like all of the cute stuff that they have. I just think it's really, really cool. It's a great way to get like outfit inspiration or new stuff that you want to buy. But personally, like for me, what I really should do is upload all of my makeup to it, which I actually am going to be doing. So I can show you guys like my makeup collection on my Snups account. But then for me, it's really great because I can keep tabs on what I already have. Because a lot of times I'll go to places like Sephora or whatever, and I'll buy stuff that I actually already have because I don't realize that I have it, you know, forget it's in my collection or whatever that is so um one day I really like here's somebody who has like high-end beauty this is like one of their um closets where they show like all of the stuff that they have and it's just like really really cool I think like to see like what other people have like I said that's like how I've been using it I'm literally been the biggest creep using this every day and just like looking at other people's closets and all of this cool stuff that they have and then um yeah so you can make like basically a virtual closet and show everything that you have so I think that's really really cool so I've been obsessed with this app and I need more followers guys I only have 40 people following me so yeah go follow me and make a snaps account and then I'll follow you back and we can like look at each other's closets and see I'm definitely gonna be uploading a ton of more stuff to this like I already made one for mac lipstick so I can upload all the lipsticks that I have you can go ahead and like comment on people stuff or you can wow it which is really cute too it's like their version of a like you can just click wow which I think is really cute I just really have been enjoying this app like a lot. I think that this is definitely like gonna blow up and not that many people I know like have it just yet. So you guys should definitely download it and I'll put a link in the bottom bar to all the apps that I talk about so you guys can download them if you want to and I'll put a link to my um, profile on Snap so you guys can go ahead and follow me if you are interested in checking out each other's closets. So yeah, that is Snap. Then we have Facebook and I do have a Facebook page for my YouTube account. The link to it is um, it's www facebook.com backslash kelly strack youtube so i'll just upload like 
new videos and stuff on here even though I've forgotten to update it recently so I need to go ahead and do that but then we have Instagram most of you guys do follow me on Instagram my Instagram is Kelly underscore Jane XX so be sure to follow me on there I absolutely love Instagram this is probably if I had to only pick one app forever and like not including YouTube because I don't ever really use YouTube on my phone I use it on the computer um it would definitely be Instagram because I freaking love Instagram I'm addicted to it then we have the YouTube app. Like I said, I don't really use this app all that often, to be honest with you guys. I normally will just use it if I'm like uploading videos on the go. Like I'll start uploading it on my computer and then if I'm gone or whatever, I'll like set it to live using this app. That's really the only time I use this. Then down here at the bottom, I have phone, mail, music, and Safari. Obviously you guys know what those are for. Now onto the next page of apps. Up here I have picture editors, but I actually just made a whole video about how I edit my Instagram pictures and everything like that. So I'll link that down in the bottom bar rather than going through them yet again for you guys that already watched that video. I do not want to bore you to death, so I will link that in the bottom bar if you guys are interested in checking that out. I kind of go through each and every app that I use for that, so you guys can check that out if you're interested. Then I have this Followers Plus app. This is actually kind of cool, um, but kind of sad at the same time. It basically shows you like all the new people that follow you, and it shows you all the people that unfollow you and everything like that. Then I have Bank of America. I'm not going to click that, but uh, it's like my online banking app. I do have LinkedIn, but this is my personal LinkedIn for like college and, you know, jobs like corporate jobs and boring jobs and stuff like that so yeah that's what my LinkedIn is for then I have this app fat secret which I literally use all the time I'm obsessed with it so basically this you can go ahead and you can log like all of the food that you eat per day so you guys can see like I ate Craker's two of their little rice cakes for breakfast with some whipped peanut butter on top and I put some almond milk in my coffee but I didn't log the coffee because it's like no calories and then so far for dinner I'm going to be eating corn in the cob and asparagus um, but I'm gonna be having shrimp I just haven't logged that yet because I can like you can use this little thing um, how do you do it it. Oh, I think if you go into here and then you just click on this, the barcode scanner, you can like scan um, the barcode, which is what I do. So I haven't gotten a chance to scan the shrimp yet. But yeah, I love this just to keep track of like, you know, how much food I'm eating and everything like that. I just think it's a really great way um, to just see what's going into your body, you know, because before you know it, you've consumed like 3000 calories and that's not a good thing. So this has really been helping me stay on track like amazingly. So I love this app. I use it all the time. Then I have Pinterest, which I have not been on Pinterest in a while guys oh my god I need to go back on Pinterest because I love again this is another app like snups to me like I don't upload my own stuff as much as I should but I just love creeping on what other people pin <laughs> so I'm like scrolling through here and I just like love seeing the stuff that other Ooh, like look at those shoes oh my god obsessed those are beautiful um but yeah so I like like scrolling through and seeing what other people pin but I don't really pin that much myself I probably should though then I have NFL mobile you guys most of you probably know that I am a big time Giants fan so it's obviously not football season just yet but it'll be coming around the corner so then when football season is in session I'm always using NFL mobile to stay up to date with the games if I'm not home to be able to watch it or at the game or whatever um, and also see the other scores of other games going on so yeah that's what that's for probably not that interesting to most of you but to me I love it then I have Retail Me Not. I use this all the time. This is an awesome app. It's basically a coupon app. So um, if you go in here, oh my God, so many things. So like, let's say Ulta. I can click right there, search for Ulta, and that'll show me like all different coupons that I can use. So whenever I'm in a store, I'll always go ahead, do a quick Retail Me Not search just to make sure that if there's any coupons that I can use, I do have them. So I love that. Then I have MyFitnessPal. I actually should probably delete this. I'm actually going to delete it right now um, because I used to use that before I started using Fat Secret. Um, and I just like Fat Secret a lot better, actually. I feel like My Fitness Pal is a lot more popular. Like a lot of people I know use that, but I just prefer Fat Secret better. I don't really know why. Uh, I just find that I can find like most foods in that app easier. So yeah, that's the one that I use. Um, then I have this Nutrifactor. I don't actually use this, but when I used to use Weight Watchers, like back in the past, you could basically put in the like carbohydrates, fiber, protein, and fat of any Food, and then it would calculate the um, Weight Watchers points that it would be, but I don't really do Weight Watchers anymore. I just kind of try and eat healthy because um, I'm not really on a diet. It's just kind of more of a lifestyle type thing, but that is really cool if you guys are interested in Weight Watchers. I did used to use that app all the time. Um, this next app, my gas buddy, I would open it, but it'll show like my location and I'm at my house, so I don't really want to do that. Um, but this app is amazing. Like if anything, you guys need to download this app ASAP because it saved me so much money. Basically when you open it, it'll locate where you are and then it'll locate all of the gas stations around you and show you the price for the gas so you can make sure you're getting the cheapest gas. And then I have the Find My iPhone app, which luckily I've never had to use, but um, I'm pretty sure if you do lose your phone, that app will allow you to be able to find it. Um, so yeah, that's pretty cool. 
Then I have the photo app that just shows like all the photos and everything. Then I have the Facebook Messenger app. The Messenger app, this is from Facebook and uh, I never really use it, but Facebook like forced you to download it if you wanted to get your messages, which I think is weird, but yeah, that's what that's for. iMovie, never used this on my phone, but it did come preloaded on the iPhone 6. I don't really know why, like I don't know if I'd ever actually edit videos using it, but hey. Maybe it'll work. Dunkin' Donuts app, gotta have it. Oh my goodness, guys. I go to Dunkin' Donuts all the time. I hope this doesn't say my credit card number when I opened it, but we'll see. But I actually love this app because it's basically like a Starbucks card allows you to pay through it. So I have 75 cents left. Gotta add some more, but it also has like little perks. So basically like when you fill up this cup, so right now I have 100 points and I need 100 points until my next reward. So when I spend, uh, you know, 100 more points or whatever when I get 100 more points then I'll get a free coffee so love that and there's also like little coupons here like two donuts for 99 cents which I don't need but oh here like a 1.99 any size iced coffee that's great so yeah love this app and I pay for it pay with this app most times um if I can because then like I said you accumulate points then I have this Play, what is this called? Play Memories, I believe, app. This is works with Sony cameras, which is what I'm filming on right now. I have the Sony NEX 5R, and basically it has a Wi-Fi capability so I can transfer the photos that I take on this camera right to my phone via this app, which is really, really cool. Um, I think I'm going to be upgrading my camera pretty soon, so I'm hoping that whichever next camera I have also has something like this because this is very, very convenient and it's like one of the only reasons that I haven't updated my camera. Um, just because I think that, that having that is just so amazing. Then we have Ebates. You guys know I'm obsessed with Ebates. Whenever I order anything online, I check Ebates. It's basically just a cash back site. I have a link in the bottom bar to Ebates where you guys can do it, but it's amazing. So like right here, like let's go some, ooh, double cash back at some of these places. So, and Sephora a lot of times is like 8% cash back on Ebates. So if I'm ever ordering anything, oh, see right here, Sephora, 8% cash back. So you literally just Go through here, you can shop now, click shop now, it'll bring you to Sephora, and then anything that you buy at Sephora, it will track and you will get 8% back um, onto your Ebates account and they'll literally send you a check in the mail. I've used it so many times and gotten so much money back. It's literally just amazing, especially if you're making a big purchase. It it really, really does help. Um, so I love Ebates. If you guys don't have an Ebates account, you need to get one like ASAP. Then I have Uber. Most of you guys probably know what this is. I have like a love-hate relationship with Uber, but when you live in like <laughs> suburban New Jersey and not in New York City where they have like ready taxi service, Uber is basically like the taxi of the suburbs. And it kind of sucks because I've had actually some pretty bad experiences with Uber, but um, where I live, you really don't have any other option because there like aren't taxi service where I live. There's not like buses or any type of like mass transit. It's literally a car or an Uber. Then I have useless apps. This is kind of funny. Um, this is basically like the apps that come preloaded on the iPhone that the iPhone won't let you delete, like iBooks, this weather app, Game Center, podcasts. I like I don't use any of these ever, so I just put them in this folder and tuck them away on this last page. Basically, this last page is just filled with stuff that I don't ever really use. Then the Pages app. Oh, this is actually for my um, Facebook like page, but I can just access it through the Facebook app, so I never really use that to be honest with you guys. Then we have Pandora, which I purposely put on this page to hide from myself because I love Pandora, but it uses so much data. And every single month I go over my data, my parents are like, we're literally gonna kill you if you continue to go over your data. <laughs> so um, yeah, I kind of hide Pandora from myself. I only use it like very, very sparingly because I used to use it all the time, not realizing how much data I was using using it. So yeah, if you guys don't know what Pandora is, it's actually very cool. I'll open it to show you guys. Um, but it's like an online radio. I'm sure you guys know what Pandora is. I don't know why I'm like explaining it to you guys, but oh, it's like playing music already. Um, but yeah, you can like go through and like make a bunch of different stations like Tiesto Radio and it'll play me like stuff that it thinks that I'll like. So yeah, I love this app, but it uses a lot of data. Then the Apple Watch app. Um, I don't even have an Apple Watch. So I don't know why that's on there. Apple just like put that on there, which is kind of annoying. I don't, can I delete that? No, of course, and I can't delete it. <laughs> but yeah, so the Apple Watch app, even though I don't have an Apple Watch. Then we have tips, which again, I don't use another like useless, I don't think I can delete this, nope. Another useless Apple app that they just preload on your phone even though you don't want it. And then the last one is this WhatsApp. This is like basically like, 
it's basically like a text messenger, but it works if you have friends that don't have an iPhone and you want to do a group message with them because it can get like really dicey if you have a friend that has like an Android and you're doing a group message because they don't really get it correctly the way iMessage does it. So WhatsApp is great if you want to do a group message with people with a bunch of different like service providers and different types of phones. But yeah, these apps that I have now, I'm just literally obsessed with all of them. They're the ones that... um I just always use and absolutely love. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Please be sure to give it a thumbs up if you did. And I will see you guys very soon in my next video. Bye.